everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit more about some shortcuts and what you're able to do with your application icons. Now on my main channel, I talked about a bunch of these really cool things, but I wanted to break this down and make it its own featured video. So a lot of times when you open up an application, you actually just tap on the app and it goes inside of it. And then once you're inside of it, then you have to navigate through it if you wanna take a portrait or a photo or a video, or maybe you wanna take a selfie. So you're going through, you're going Going through all the different motions but from the home screen itself a lot of people forget you can do this you can simply just tap on what you want to do so this one right here is just taking a selfie and we were just in the selfie mode as you can see right here now what you'd be able to do is maybe you want to take a portrait shot so now it's going to switch it over for you rather than you going into the application and making those changes now all of these applications will give you a bunch of different things you're able to do so for example if you press and hold on youtube it's going to give you these options which is you can watch the shorts you can search for a video, head inside of your subscriptions page, or you can just explore some new videos. So this directly takes you over into that subscriptions page. A lot of times when I open it up, sometimes it opens up shorts or sometimes it opens up my homepage. Uh, if you want to go through a few of the different other applications, Facebook, it doesn't really give you anything there. When it comes down to Twitter, it should give you kind of like a search. So you got the search, you can capture something, take a look at a couple different uh, maybe conversations that you've had with other people that was on Twitter. And then Instagram, this is going to give you the camera, view activity, maybe a new post, go inside of your chat. So this will open up the application and head into a story for the camera itself. So you can really just go through a bunch of all of these ones here to see what options it gives you if you press and hold on messages it's going to take a look at some of your past conversations these are the three most recent conversations i had instead of me you know just pressing on messages i can actually click on the actual message that i would like to get into so I gave you a few examples of the camera messages, you know, maybe with the phone, it's going to give you a couple. You can take a look at your missed calls and search. You can create a new contact. So just go through your phone, take a look at all of your apps, you know, see what options it kind of gives you. And sometimes you might find a quicker way of doing something rather than just opening up the application itself and navigating around. So this one was a pretty fun way that you're able to, again, navigate any of these cool little features within the application before you even get inside. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball Famous, also famous, number one desirable Out of what I want, when I want, and how I want it Leave you with the one in the air, that's how I roll I got tons of soul